Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's Josh here. Um, I, I'm at home today. Today is Saturday. Uh, about to get ready to go to my kids' um, soccer game. So, uh, I wasn't going to make a video about this the more I thought about it. But, um, yeah, I decided I'm going to make a video about it. Um, I went to buy a truck yesterday. Um, went to a couple dealerships. Um, as I was looking online, I saw a ad on Facebook that said um, it was a you know brand new 2020 Dodge Ram 2500, which is what I was kind of looking at. And the price or the sales is a sponsored ad on Facebook, mind you. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the I'm gonna put it in the video here. Uh, you can see that it's a sponsored listing on Facebook. Um, it was a link to the uh, Freedom Dodge in Dun Duncanville. Uh, it was for a 2020 Dodge Ram 2500, the gas one, which is what I was looking for. Um, same vehicle that I was actually kind of keeping an eye on. And anyways, the price was 38208 And um, it was about four or $5,000 cheaper than most places that I saw. So I decided, me and my dad decided to go out there and um, go take a look at it. Talked to the salesman, told him about the ad, um, took a test drive, did all that kind of stuff. Uh, they came back with, uh, finally went inside, they were crunching the numbers, and they come back with a price of uh, 46000 out the door. And I'm looking and I'm like, well, you know, that's more than uh, the quote. So they, they dropped the price down to the truck to like forty. I want to say it was forty three thousand plus tax and title and all that stuff, but I wanted it at the thirty eight. It's the exact same model, same truck, same everything. And when I brought up the the ad, the sales guy basically you know cuts me short because he knew I was there for the ad, and he says, uh, "Well, that was a mistake. What's a mistake?" And he said, "The ad. The ad's a mistake." I said, "How is a mistake? Like it's linking from the ad directly to your website and on the website, and I'm gonna show you right now." On the website, it says it's 38208 after rebates and incentives and stuff. So he basically looks at me and he says, well, you don't have to buy the truck. And that's exactly what he says to me. And I said, wow, let me, you know, now I need to really talk to somebody. You know, I'm going to talk to your manager. Let me ask. I'd like to talk to your manager. And he said, sure, no problem. And as he's walking away, I told my dad in Spanish, uh, I told my dad, and uh, he said what well, he said, that I don't have to buy the truck and I was just shocked and floored and he heard me tell my dad you know translate to my dad what he said and he turns around and he says in Spanish because he was a Hispanic guy and he tells my dad no I didn't say that so he starts arguing with me on the floor I said you know what um just go get the manager please so he gets the manager and that's when I started recording um I didn't actually record um the sales manager's face or you know his person but I, I had the phone on record um and you can hear him talk you know in this clip right here so you did you buy the car i want to buy the car no, not buy so it. you're saying well, why not say it one more time you're saying that the advertisements that are pulling up on your website yes. are incorrect yes. and you are not honor those prices i don't have to honor it no. you don't have to but no. you will not Okay, so the advertisement on your website shows that it's for the same price that you're giving me here, and it shows that I get two discounts, a dealer discount and employee discount, yes. and it shows that the total price is 38000 mm -hmm. Yep. You're not honoring that. What's on your website? No. Okay, I got you recorded. That's okay. That's fine. What's your name? Julian. Julian? Julian and you're the sales manager? New car, new car director. Yes, Okay. Sir. Who's above you? The general manager. Okay, can we talk to him? Yeah. Thank oh. you. so uh you know obviously he was pretty defensive sat down right away i was a little upset because i can't believe the, the sales guy told me that i don't have to buy the, the truck that was um i mean to me that was kind of insulting i mean here i am a, a, a buyer ready to um buy and you know he can care less whether he sold it or not so i mean that's fine but uh you know so anyways, the, the GM comes in, and, and I'm going to play this clip for you, too. And, and and the GM, well, let me just play it for you. How you doing? I'm not doing too good now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yes, there's an issue with the pricing on there. Um, 
I had actually talked to our internet person to get them to check the pricing on it. And they said it's fixed, should be updated soon, but it was a new pricing from Chevrolet, I mean, from Chrysler. And they send the pricing in terms of the discounts. So we had our discounts on there. Then they sent their discounts. So it kind of doubled them. Mm -hmm. so, Not kind of. It shows fixed. there's a $8,000 discount and you're telling me I can't get that. Correct. Okay. Absolutely. So you're being reported. Okay. Just let you know. Because I'm posting this right on the post where the sponsored listing is, right where everybody's talking about that there's a the, the, the truck hey, is thirty eight thousand dollars. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so like I said, uh, that's a five thousand dollar difference. There's an issue in the pricing, a computer glitch. Or and your name? And we're fixing. Jason. And your name? Jason. Jason. Jason Matthews. Awesome. Awesome. I'll go ahead and post it. I'll go ahead and post it. So the GM, extremely defensive, uh, almost like he was upset at me for for bringing up the ad in the first place. Um, you know, I didn't wear, wasn't wearing a mask. We were wearing masks. I took my mask off because I was drinking a coffee, but, um, you know, I, he gets all in my face and my phone's face. You can see her up on my phone, um, you know, and whatever. I guess he didn't like the idea that I was recording him, but um, I think that's just dishonest. It's um, unfair uh, advertising, uh, unfair practices or whatever you call it, false advertising. Um, it's deceptive advertising for sure. I mean, they brought me in. The, I, I came in the doors because of an ad. Um, I'm glad I didn't have to drive very far for it. But, um, you know, anyways, uh, I decided to leave him a, a review on Facebook and I uh, left him a, a complaint on the Better Business Bureau uh, just because I felt as a consumer that, you know, I'm not the first and definitely not the last that they've, they've done that to. Actually, I had a buddy of mine who came down and visited me for my birthday in August and he was interested in buying a truck and uh they did the same thing to him he was he thought I didn't know that at the time but he told me yesterday um that he had wanted to go look at a truck and uh when he got there it was completely different price than what was advertised so it's definitely not the first time they do this apparently um and you know they actually responded to my review on Facebook and uh you know, I'm going I'm to post it on here for you guys to see too. And they, you know, they say that they supposedly have fixed the problem. Um, and when I call them out and say, no, the problem hasn't been fixed. It's still on their website as of today. The next day, 24 hours later, it's still on the website for the same price. They say they fixed it immediately. Um, and it's still 100% um, there. So moral of the story is, guys... Um, I think Freedom Dodge has, in Duncanville, has um, some explaining to do. I think uh, I'm owed more than just a half-assed apology that I was given. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're looking to buy a truck, don't go there. I ended up going to Waxahachie um, Dodge or the Waxahachie Autoplex um, immediately after I left Duncanville. And, um, Andrew was my sales guy. I told him, I didn't, you know, listen, I'm not, I'm gonna cut straight to the bullshit. I'm, I'm gonna cut the bullshit and go straight to the point. I'm here to buy this truck. I want the best price. I know what it's worth. Um, and I know, you know, what kind of lending I needed, you know, what kind of financing I need to be at, uh, percentage points or whatever. So, um, so we got the deal done and actually I ended up saving. They, they couldn't obviously give me the same advertised price at Duncanville had um but i got the price about three thousand dollars less than what i was going to pay at uh at freedom dodge so at the end of the day the headache and aggravation i saved three thousand dollars uh freedom dodge lost the sale and i hope they lose a lot more sales from this video um so if you're in the DFW area, uh, please, you know, go anywhere but Freedom Dodge. Freedom Dodge, if you're watching this, you've got my name, you've got my number. Uh, you want to make it up to me, you can reach out to me and um, see what you're willing to offer. Otherwise, um, yeah, pretty terrible customer service. Uh, you know, if you know me, we, we have a Dodge Ram already, Stretch Limousine. Um, you know, there's, I have a Dodge Challenger and a couple other Dodges in my fleet. And then now I bought a personal Dodge truck. So, um, but, uh, you know, I could have, you know, could have made a good deal. And, um, it, it, listen, mistakes, 
Understood. If it was a mistake, that's one thing. But they were so cocky about it. They were so defensive about it. And they were so rude about it. They could have said, listen, I mean, we made a mistake, but I understand your frustration. And here's how we're going to make it up to you. Give me free car washes. Give me, I mean, Waxahachie, I bought the vehicle there. I've got two years. I didn't ask for it. I've got two years of um, oil changes for free included in my sales and my sale. So they could have thrown something in there to keep me happy instead of just, you don't have to buy it. If you don't like the price, you can leave. There's a door. See ya. So they got me in the door. Um, their advertising worked. Um, but their deceptive sales practices and their rude customer service is definitely keeping them from uh, selling anybody else or selling me ever again. So um, there's my spiel about Freedom Dodge in Duncanville. Um, take it for what it's worth. Don't believe what they're selling you. Don't believe the ads. Um, only believe what comes on that piece of paper that they want you to sign. Sign by the X if you agree to that number or if they're, you know, sign, sign here so you can, uh, so I can go back to my manager and, and, and see if uh, I can throw in this extra thing for you, whatever. Um, at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything unless that number is the same as their advertised price. There was no reason for any upcharges. There was nothing that they did extra to that vehicle. Um, there was no explanation given as to what you know why it was worth more other than it was a mistake and we're not honoring it honoring it and that's basically it so freedom dodge see you later thank you waxahachie autoplex or waxahachie ford um you guys now have won me over as a customer i have left you guys a good review and i am leaving you a good review on this video so Guys, you have any similar experiences with your dealerships, local or anywhere else, please list them in the comments. As always, like and subscribe to this channel. Um, I am going to be breaking away a little bit from the dumpster business and start doing some limo businesses uh, or, you know, some limo videos uh, about the limo business. So um, I'm, I'm still going to be doing the dumpster one. So uh, stand by. Uh, check us out. Uh, check out the description below. Uh, I've got some items that uh, we normally um that i carry with me in my vehicle at all times and uh well we'll see you on the next video y'all